Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Angel Bobs. We've just finished building up an artillery train and loaded it up with a massive 26 rounds of ammunition. Now let's take it off and see what we can do with it. It's not going to be enough by any means, but it's enough to sort of have a play and go, yay, big guns and stuff like that. Make sure it, Just make sure it works. Not that I have any doubt about it working, of course. I just want to get out there and test it. Okay, so if we stop about here, I said if, if we stop, fine, I'll go around. I note there aren't any plasma cannon turrets up there. I might nip up and stick one or two in just because this is going to get busy. By t one or two, I think I mean four. There we go. They're not attacking. That's interesting. I thought that as soon as you attacked enemy biter nests, the biters from them just swarmed towards the where the artillery shell came from. There we go. Where's it going to fire now? Over there. Excellent. Oh, there aren't actually any nests here. Just some worms to take out. And a couple of biters. Yeah, sure. I don't think we have range on any others. No, I mean, if I, if I reverse up the track a little bit, I'll be able to get that nest up there with my last seven <laughs> shells. Jeez. Oh, actually, this has got range outside the... Oh, good. He's going up to the nearer one. That's good to see. One more? Yeah. Oh. What? And that was my last one. <laughs> okay. Let's um, rename that station to Artillery Ammo or something. From Wagner. That seems vaguely appropriate somehow. Back to Artillery. Go. That's so much easier than going out there with long rows of um, electrical poles and, and plasma turrets and, and doing it sort of manually. I'm honestly kind of frustrated with myself that I didn't realise I could do, I could build these a lot sooner. Especially as I'm already familiar with them. Where am I going? Okay, oh, there isn't a way down from that direction. <laughs> I should probably fix that. Yeah, there's a missing route there. Also, some missing stations here. Uh, stations. Signals. English is hard. Um, it's not doing too badly, I guess. Where's, what's, what's the slow part about this system? Oh, it is actually the... Um, everything's running. It's quite well balanced. I only needed one of these things making explosives, by the look of it. But otherwise, two of these cannon shell things to one artillery shell seems to be about right. Okay, I guess the next step of this is to have a construction train on the back of here. Now, I don't know how those work. Let's find out. Okay, so there's a robot wagon, there's a train wagon, a locomotive wagon, and a locomotive. Let's get some more steel and build a, a robot wagon and a train wagon and see what happens. And I'll just hook them onto the back of here. Because what I'd like to do is be able to drop down a plan for a track all the way up here and maybe across here and join it back on up here, I guess. And then I can just trundle all the way around the outside, shelling everything outside the base. It's not going to be so good for the stuff inside. I might get there's a risk of getting attacked, but um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, okay, this is a massive grid and a decent sized inventory. This one has a also has a. I don't understand the difference between these then. Ah, this one doesn't accept robot ports. This one does. That's the difference. Okay, so I need to nick essentially all of these. Put them in here. I presume these don't go in here. No. So what can I put in here? Weaponry? Yes! Ha! So I'll take that. Can I put it in this one? No. Okay. But I can put it in here. No. What? I don't know how to look at that. Here we see there's a row of what look like turrets. But they're not... To be fair, they're not the same as that turret. Let's see if I can find them in the... No, not in there. In here. It's not these ones. Oh, laser defense. Right, okay. So I could potentially make these. What do they need? They need rubies. Okay, that's something a bit out of... Well, something a bit out of... Not not something I've done yet, anyway. Um, but, right, they can be put in... Into these into the vehicles. That's the sort of thing I'm looking for. Then, okay, let's, let's, let's start towards that. But for now, it's unarmored. Unarmed, except for the um, artillery gun on the front of it. Now I could take this up here. There's nothing in range. I cleared this area out manually which was a bit of a faff but not too bad. If I head over to here then I can shell those but anything else is going to be out of range. The problem is if I do build that 
line I was talking about going all the way around the inside of here. They're going to chase... Oh, they're, going to, they're not going to be in range of these guns. So the biters are going to... I'm going to have to build up defensive positions. Okay. That's not impossible. Can you turn artillery off? I can nick it shells. There we go. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Okay, so if I take the walls out of here and the turrets and put them in here... Right, I can now... Let's get rid of that. Okay, so what I can do now is drive up to about here, maybe. Design some sort of defence system for the other side of the train and have the train automatically build it. I haven't got any belts. I haven't got any belts. I've got, like, okay, I've got like 300 belts. That's going to be enough for a while. Oh, I've gone the wrong way already. I'm not paying enough attention to drive a train manually. <laughs> Oh, I need better brakes. I need to research better brakes. <laughs> I also need to not park in front of that in case it loads me up with whichever ore it is. Right. Give me some railway. I thought I unloaded you. Oh. Alright. I need it to be a little further in. Like here. Wow, it's a long old track. I'm sure I've not brought enough. But still, it's a good start. I feel I've got this train the wrong way round. I should have the logistics, the um, the building train, the building thing at the, at the front. Actually, I should probably have the locomotive at the, right at the back, to be honest. Or at least behind the um, logistics, the uh, bot carrier. Because that way I could have it building as far forward as possible. I don't know why it's prioritised the one up there first. I'm going to reclaim those plasma turrets that I left down here, since I'm going back into combat again. And I kind of need them. Or how far along were they? Quite a long way. I thought they were around here somewhere. Why have I only got one? Yeah, they were. This was the base I just took out. Okay, there's one over there. Let's go and nick that. Since I'm halfway there. What happened to them? I must have just put them in something by mistake. This sulfur shortage is going to start being more, even more of a problem, I think. Now that I'm using it for explosives as well. I suspect the artillery is going to be quite expensive in terms of explosives. I'm going to borrow that one. No, I'm not. It's guarding the outside. Let's leave it. Okay, now let's test out my cunning plan. Okay, so what I want to do, put a row of turrets in to protect the artillery train, like that. Then a row of belts to arm them. There we go. Except I don't have any sodding burner inserters. As usual. Ah. Okay, now the turrets are all loaded. I can rearm the artillery. Wonder of wonders, it's actually firing the way I want it to, rather than at the base on the outside of the wall. Flip the plasma turret around to provide a bit more fire support. There we go. Um, to be honest, that plasma turret is more than enough. I don't know why it's firing over there. Maybe it's something to do with minimum gun traversal. Nope, don't go back outside. Okay, and now once that's done, I can make a copy of that bit. Here come the biters. No worries, I've got the uh, plasma turrets on the uh, on the case. Then I can deconstruct that. I mean, I actually didn't need it in this particular case. The um, plasma turrets were more than capable of dealing with it, but if there aren't any plasma turrets in the area or, or I get larger attacks, it's nice to have the defensive wall there as well. Okay. No, let's let the bots finish landing. There we go. Onwards. Okay, I got a little bit carried away. I don't need to be quite... I can do a bit of shooting from down here. So if I put this in here, just need to put the splitter in manually. Go there. Boom! Instant defensive wall. Load up the artillery. Good, it's even pointing the right way. Flip the conveniently placed plasma turret around. No, don't shoot that way. Artillery shooting the wrong way. I don't have the um, artillery targeting Dewberry yet, unfortunately, because that requires the blue circuits, as you, as, as I showed you. So, yeah. Basically, I just have to let the artillery shoot wherever it wants, and hope that it actually shoots the biters I want it to shoot, which kind of sucks. Oh, do I have any? Yes, I do. There we go. I've still got a good 150 railway left, so I've got some way to go before I run out. Okay, let's find out which way the cannon wants to shoot if I load it up. Outwards, typical. Um, I don't think I can really force it to shoot the other way, which is an 
unfortunate. That said, we've got good enough defences here. I could just let it start shooting. And then we'll go back down and get some more shells and bring it back up again. These plasma turrets are amazing. <laughs> Part of me feels they're a bit over overpowered. But then I also feel that a lot of these biters are a bit overpowered as well. So they kind of balance out. Oh, I've used all my ammo. Time to head back to base. By which I mean time to build up a way back to get back to base. Oh, I finally ran out of rail. How far did I get? <sighs> About halfway around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's give the bots a moment to hoover up all of this stuff and then I'll reverse all the way back down to civilization. Oh yeah, I suppose we're putting all this extra stuff into the um, logistics network so that they can build up some more power, power plants for me. Forgot about that. Let's try and get back a bit quicker. Only one normal steam engine. Thought mid four. Actually, let's load them up into there. But I also need an enormous quantity of railway. There's another plasma turret there I could grab on the way past. Even running an artillery train around the outside like this, I'm still going to miss these bases across the middle here, because they're out, out of the range from both top, bottom and, and right hand side, which is a bit of a shame. I could run another track into up the middle I suppose, but it'd be harder to defend. Still. That's gone pretty well, I think. I've done. I've made a decent. Well, I've I've made a bit of a dent on the biter bases inside inside here. There's quite a lot of them still left. I think more. It's almost been more of a proof of concept in getting the sort of the general system going, rather than actually making a massive difference to the um, the enemy forces arrayed inside. However, that's. I think I still think that's a good start. So I'm gonna quite happily call that an episode there. I think next time I'll carry on with this. There are a few other things I need to do, like this the metals being provided from down here I need to have a good look at these and find out which ones are no longer being provided so there's something missing here but I think that was just iron no yeah that was just iron that was being provided there so that's that's okay that's being provided elsewhere this this so yeah this one's okay this is basically providing iron copper and the blue stuff which is and the blue stuff basically doesn't get used so that's fine down here yes this one I need to sort out the tin supply to the base. That's going to be fairly easy. Brass supply, or bronze, whichever one that is, I'm going to need to start making that down here from ingots. I need to start making steel down there as well, so I can retire this facility. And lead is currently okay, there's quite a lot of it to work through, so I can ignore that for now. We need to start making solder down there as well. There was something else, something else I saw that was, maybe maybe it was just this, the tin and the, and the bronze that are going to be problems. So yeah, there's a few things there that need patching up. Why have I not got power here? I've obviously cut a cable somewhere. Put one there. That'll be fine. That's that's fine. I'll fix it. <laughs> it means that train's just giving up, of course, which is um, interesting. Okay, so yes, there is, th there is a couple of things to do there. But for now, I think that's gone quite well. I still need to get the blue circuits up and running, but that means I want to get this area up and cleared. So that's, that's what, what I'm waiting for for that. And then, well, world's my oyster. I'll start doing that. I can then start building better St uh, inserter, stack inserters with the different types of steel and so on and so on but those are all obviously jobs for future episodes as always thank you for watching and i hope you'll join me for those episodes and uh we'll see how we'll see what i can get done thanks again see you then